How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So a couple of days ago, I went diving with one of my friends Keale and we had this idea in mind where we were gonna go out, shoot a bunch of fish and then bring them back to shore and cook them up. So we grabbed the three prongs because we can't really cook anything big on, on the shoreline. And so we grabbed the three prongs. I grabbed my ski prong, it's actually right here behind me. Grabbed my ski prong, took it out to this deepish reef that I know has a ton of reds. Uh, Avail Veils and Menpachis and so we went out there and we were very successful. We managed to pick up a lot of Avail Veils and we brought it back to shore, cooked it up on the beach and it came out absolutely delicious as Avail Veils always do. But um, yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about. I hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the water. Shoot! Alright guys, so first drop here going down in a little bit deeper water. This is around 50 to 55-ish feet maybe. And this is deeper than I would normally like to three-prong in, but I know this spot has a lot of reds, um, a lot of mepachis and a lot of avail veils. And because we were looking for just some nice and easy fry fish to cook on the beach, I figured this spot would be perfect. So I'm looking in this cave here and you can already see a bunch of mepachis around, but I saw an avail veil right here, so I line up take my shot and I completely whiffed him. I have no idea how I missed, don't even ask me how, because he was just sitting perfectly still and I missed, but I reload really fast and line up on him again. Take my shot and this time I got him. Luckily he stuck around, but yeah, don't ask me how I managed to miss this guy the first time. Really quickly too, I wanted to mention, I've talked about these gloves before, but the gloves that I've got on right now, they're made by Waihana and in my opinion, they're one of the best gloves for, for three-pronging specifically because if you look in the space between the index finger and your thumb, there's a, a, a padded reinforcement there. And so when you got the three-prong loaded, it makes it a lot more comfortable and a lot easier to keep it loaded for a long time. And with these gloves, I can three-prong for hours and hours and hours and not get tired. So if you want to grab a pair of these yourself, we sell them at Hanapa'a in on oahu so if you guys are on oahu and in town you can check them out or you can go to waihana.com and if you use my promo code uh all caps z i n g you'll get 10 percent off your entire order no matter what you buy so your whole order will be 10 percent off but anyway back to the dive going looking inside another cave here and there's choke and pachi you can see them all but once again, I'm, I got my eyes set on Avail Avail because I love Avail Avail a lot more than I like Menpachi. Menpachi is good, but Avail Avail is like top tier for me. So I spot one here and I'm trying to line up on him. And because I missed that first one, I was taking way longer on this drop to, you know, get my aim right. And so I line up, take my shot and I don't know if you guys could see, but that little box fish or whatever, that, that tiny puffer fish, he was picking at the fish parts that was stuck inside the back of the prongs. But yeah, another solid avail avail. This one was a little bit bigger. But yeah, on this dive, these guys were everywhere. Like I see avail avails at this spot pretty much every time I go, but I've never seen as many as I did on this day. All the ones that we shot, there was maybe two or three times that amount that we didn't get shots on just because they were too far back in a hole or they just darted away for whatever reason. Yeah, this is the most avail veils I've seen in one dive in a very long time. Yeah, avail veil number two for me. Going down here on another, once again, another cave. And these these caves that we're looking in, they're not super big. And also they don't have a, a lot of them were just kind of like a ledge. So as you can see right here, it's like a ledge. 
and then get some space underneath but they weren't really big caves and i for some reason i feel like that's what menpachis or not menpachi sorry avail avails they like that more they like more compact spaces there's a little baby white tip cruising in that hole i don't know if you guys could see but from what i've noticed avail avails tend to stick around these holes that are real compact and there's not a ton of space like when when you see big schools of menpachi they're in usually bigger bigger caves here's that white tip coming to check me out But yeah, pretty pretty interesting to see. But I see another nice avail avail right here. Line up and get them. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Ski Prong. He's the guy that made this three prong that I'm using right now, and he makes custom carbon fiber three prongs like this, and they're very they're they perform super well, very very fast and very lightweight in the water. So if you want to check him out and maybe pick up one of these for yourself, you can check out his Instagram that I'll leave in the description below. Find out more information about him and yeah, maybe grab one for yourself. They're really, really good three prongs. So on this drop, I actually moved out to a little bit deeper water. This is probably closer to 60-ish feet. And I had actually done a drop with my gun before this and I hid behind this rock I'm about to look into because I was trying to stalk a moo pile but as I was waiting for the moose to try and come in I look inside the hole and I saw like two or three really nice size of veil veils so I put the gun on the float grabbed the three prong and now I'm just trying to find the veil veils again and I spot the biggest one that I had seen and he looked like a pretty good size one so I was actually kind of excited I lined up on him here and once again, trying to take my time with the shot. And I let the three prong fly and I missed again. I missed another avail avail on this dive. I don't know how I miss. I don't, I don't even know. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but I reload really fast and, and he stuck around again. So I line up one more time. Pull the trigger and this time I do get him luckily and i pulled him out and like i said i thought he was a good size one but when i pulled him out and got him in my hands i could even fit my hand inside his gills i realized that this is one of the biggest avail veils i've ever shot but i refocused my attention back into the cave because i he was with another one and so i spot him the other one and i line up take my shot nail the second one and this one was a good size one too, you know, not not a small avail avail by any means. But when I put the two of them next to each other, you can see that the one in my right hand is quite a bit longer. And I mean, it, avail avails are all super skinny, but it was one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in my life. And probably the biggest one that I've ever three pronged. Yeah, I was actually super stoked on this avail veil. And like it's hard to tell on camera how big he was, but I'll show it when we're back on land too. He was dang, one of the one like I said, one of the biggest avail veils I've ever seen. Here's Keale coming up with another nice avail veil. And like I said earlier in the video, they they were everywhere on this day. Just like almost every single hole we looked inside had avail veils. Another drop here, another cave, and another avail veil. And you can see all the Menpachis too, and I thought about shooting those, but we had so many avail veils and we were seeing a bunch of a bunch of them in every cave, so 
I decided to kind of focus more on the availabilities because I enjoy eating them more. And I figured if we could get enough food for us to eat on the beach with just availabilities, I'd rather do that than shoot um, menpachis. And don't get me wrong, menpachis are good, but availabilities is just best of the best. So making one more drop here, I believe this is my last this was my last drop of the day. I'm looking in this cave here and some of the caves were kind of deceiving a little bit. Like it looked like it was going to be a big hole from the top and then you look inside and there's nothing really in there or the cave kind of gets cut short. And that was one of them there. I looked inside and there was nothing really going on so I turned around and saw another one that I might be able to look into and sure enough this one had some fish and a bunch of toals so I lined up on one of those, took my shot and got this weird kind of almost unicornish shot through the front of his head. But I thought maybe I could shoot another one because there was a bunch of them circling through this hole but then I spotted, I look inside here and I spot another available. So I line up on the available. I looked around for toals, but didn't see any. Line up on the available, and this Pui freaking bites my three prong. So then I gave him a poke, nailed the available, and got out of that cave immediately. Yeah, my last available of the day right here, and got lucky with the invasive. Took out one invasive off the reef. Yeah sick three-prong dive and honestly one of the more productive three-prong dives i've ever had just avail veils everywhere and it was so awesome to to shoot all these avail veils because like i said they're by far one of my favorite fried fish on the reef and it was perfect for what we were trying to do later on that afternoon so got super lucky super blessed got a bunch of these avail veils and also this little toa that we got off the reef too. Veil veil, that's pretty. That's deep. a monster of veil veil. Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, saw. So we got the veil veils over here, the burner over there, but I freaking forgot the pan, so we're changing plans. 
We got this big thing of Kiave, dead Kiave. We're making a little stack right here. <laughs> Just in case, we sent one of our friends down to try and find a pan at the supermarket, but if they can't find it, this is plan B. Roast the lighter either. So we're gonna use this thing right here. Light this on fire. And then hopefully it catches on here. It did not. Let's try it one more time. Oh shit. Just in case the water on standby, but it's a small fight. It's not nothing crazy. Right now, it's at the most it's gonna be, and then we're just gonna wait until it's only embers, and then use that to cook the fish. It's hot enough. Alright, taste test. Let's see it. I'm gonna take a piece. Yeah, take a piece, take a piece. Skin off. Oh, that's hot. That's actually. Super hot? Like super Do you want hot. chopstick? I have a chopstick. Oh, you have chopstick? Yeah. Oh, I have a fork. I have a fork. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> Almost there. Get oh, the, get that that's pretty good. Is it? That's good. Here, give me, that, give me the rest good. of that. I need a little piece right there. Oh, it is it's super hot. hot. It's hot. Oh, Do it works? Work. It worked. Try it. That's good. It's you can't eat the skin. Why don't you use the skin? Oh, I mean, you can. I, I don't eat the skin. That's pretty good. Yo, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's crispy. It's a little, it's a little fishy, but it's pretty good. Mark the spot. Don't step in that if you come to this beach. Don't step in it. All right, guys. <laughs> Kyrie came in clutch. Got us a pan. I also forgot plates too, but she got that it also. <laughs> what? It dropped. As she's eating her oveo on a stick. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, not too bad. Ready? I'll nah, just go. Let's make this romantic. No, we're not making make, it. Don't just make stole, it romantic. Just make it for. Food. Wow. That's what? This is actually really good. A one fish. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Super fun video, super fun making this video, going out and, and being able to shoot fish and then in that same day, bring them back to the shore and just cook it up right there on the beach with the sunset, with the sun going down and everything in the background. It was just, it's, it's one of the, my favorite things to do. It's just, I, a lot of times I don't have time to do it. After a dive, I, a lot of times I gotta go, go home and do something, do homework or, or take an exam or this and that, but, 
in this case, everything lined up and the weather was real nice. Went out, shot a bunch of fish, and we were able to have that really nice catch and cook on the beach that came out super, de super delicious, um, freshest fish you could possibly get. And, and yeah, fun as always. But I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. And remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I really appreciate every single one of you that not only watches this video, but also all of you guys who are subscribed and who do like the video. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys help out my channel a ton. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next one. Shoots.